Hello there, friend. I feel that you've been feeling a little bit lonely. If you're lonely or searching for love, I want to take a moment to remind you that love is out there for you. God desires for you to experience love, a deep, fulfilling love that goes beyond mere attraction or desire. It can be daunting trying to find love in today's busy world. So how should you go about it? What can you put in your arsenal to help you find a committed and lasting love? Let's explore what the Bible says about love and how we can seek it in the right way. First, in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, we find a beautiful description of love. It tells us that love is patient and kind. It does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. True love is selfless and seeks the good of others. So, as you seek love, remember that it's about giving and sharing, not just about what you can get, but rather about what you can both give to each other. Love is a two-way street. Try to give more than you expect to get back in return. This passage also reminds us that we may not always be right. We must be willing to listen to the other person, really listen, and take their point of view to heart. We should not allow ourselves to brag, boast, or make the other person seem less smart. Love is a bond that encourages togetherness rather than one person being in charge of the other. Now let's take a look at 1 John. In 1 John 4, verse 7, we are reminded, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. This verse tells us that love is a gift from God. It's a divine connection that reflects His nature. When you pursue love, do so with the understanding that it is rooted in God's character, pure, genuine, and sacrificial. You must show compassion to the one you love. You need to have compassion and empathy in your heart. God is also forgiving. He shows mercy and grace to those he loves and you must do the same. Be careful not to judge, but look to the one you love with a forgiving understanding, which will hopefully be given back to you in your time of guilt or shame. Now, it's important to recognize what love is not. In Matthew 5:28, Jesus teaches us about the dangers of lust. He says, but I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Lust is fleeting and self-serving, unlike the enduring love God wants for you. We often seek love in the wrong places, driven by a desire that can lead to hurt and disappointment. Hebrews 13.4 says, Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. This emphasizes the sanctity of marital love and commitment, discouraging lustful behavior outside that context. Hebrews 13.4 encourages us to honor marriage and keep our relationship pure. Love should be cherished and nurtured within the right context. This emphasizes for those who are married to remain in the commitment, 
discouraging lustful behavior outside of that context. Your eyes and body should be reserved for the one you love, just as you would want them to only desire, look at, and share their bodies with you. You must commit to do the same. And this commitment is lifelong, not just when things get rough or when you start to feel bored with the relationship. So where should you be seeking love? In a bar? On social media? One of the best places to seek true love is with a community of Christian believers. You will find that you can feel safer looking for that love among members of a common faith, background, and morals. You will not have to try so hard. It will be easier for you to make friends among Bible study groups, young adult groups, or attending retreats with common believers. This can bring you close in friendship with them. And as you are working to get closer to God, you may find a future spouse among those friends. Finally, in 1 Thessalonians 4, 3-5, through it says, It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality. For that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the pagans who do not know God. This verse reminds us that we are called to abstain from sexual immorality and to control our bodies in holiness and honor, understanding the importance of pure love over lustful desires. This doesn't mean you have to be alone forever. Rather, it means that waiting for the right love, the one that honors God and respects you, is worth it. Remember, God wants you to have love, but it's essential to seek it with a pure heart. Focus on building a loving, respectful relationship that mirrors the love God has for us. As you move forward, trust that love will find you when you align your desires with God's will. Surround yourself with supportive people. Engage in activities that bring you joy and open your heart to the possibilities. You are worthy of love. Real love. Hold on to that hope and know that God has beautiful plans for you. Thanks for listening, and may your journey toward love be filled with patience, joy, and faith. Take care. God bless and love you.